Hiya! Welcome to Geeky Girls Knit and Cross Stitch. I'm Cece, also known as Java Pearl. Today is Monday, the 4th of May, 2020. May the 4th be with you, and also with you. Uh, Star Wars there, just in case you didn't catch that. Um, and this is Stitch With Me, episode 4. So this week, I have been um, working... I got this little Pusheen Kitty cross stitch kit and there's three patterns in it and I've completed two of them and I'm uh, I just started the third one as you can see so um, I'm turned out to show the the pattern so this is one of them I finished that one and this one I finished so today I started on the final one um, and my plan with these is that I am going to, um, I've got a finishing idea of finding, um, if you hear jingling, that's Pink Pearl, the cat, uh, running through the flat. Um, I want to find three, a, a wall hanging that's got three, like, round or square pieces. I'm not really sure, um, what in the world has Pink Pearl, um, so, uh, going crazy but of course it happened as soon as I turned on uh, the camera to record. Um, I want to find like three wooden like square or round pieces that I can paint the pink that is in uh, in some of these uh, patterns and then mount them on it but also then I want a wide like ribbon or something to mount the wooden pieces on. So that is kind of my idea. Um, yes, we still have the Easter uh, tablecloth on the table. I'm still working, trying to figure out the best setup uh, for doing a stitch with me. So you're getting the uh, the Easter um, Easter tablecloth today. Um, I really am not really sure what is going on with her, but um, I think Pearl, she is running around the flat like a crazy person. Um, so we are in Washington State and our stay at home order, I am having issues today, um, our stay at home order was supposed to end today after it got extended the first time, uh, but Friday they announced that it's been extended again uh, until the 31st of May um, with a four phase plan of reopening the state um, in the hopes of of doing each phase in like a three-week in increment. So we shall see what happens. Um, so for the time being, we are all still home. Dami is still working on her college classes. Super exciting news on uh, that we got uh, for Dami on Friday. As long as her university reopens uh, for in-person classes in the autumn, like they're hoping, um, they jiggled the theater department jiggled around the schedule, and the play that she had been uh, cast in for the lead role, they are going to do this autumn and we are so excited um, because yeah we're just really proud of her and super excited so fingers crossed saying all the prayers that school reopens in the autumn for in-person classes and they can um, do that um, oh, got a little knot there they can do the uh, play as as hoped so um, that's exciting. The Dr. Hubs is uh, still working from home for the time being. Uh, we're hoping that they will extend that um, for a little while longer uh, just because of my health um, and not wanting to potentially him get exposed and then expose me um, to the virus. So that is where we are at at the moment. Um, so continuing to just do all of our stuff uh, from home. Um, I'm looking at my pattern right quick. I copied and enlarged the, the pattern um, for these pushing because they were so small in that tiny little book. But um, when I did that, a couple, there, so there's only four colors in this pattern, um, but there must be something outside that has just got her going nuts. Probably a bird. 
that she would love to go outside and chase. Um, oh my gosh, on what day was it? Saturday, the Dr. Hubs and Dammy had gone and picked up our grocery order and came home and they were bringing the groceries in and the front door didn't latch properly and she got out. Thankfully, the Dr. Hubs realized it immediately and she didn't get but a few steps outside of our flat. But um, that was a little bit scary. Uh, I will admit that I cried. I was because it just scared me. I'm like, no, nothing can happen. No, we cannot do this. So, um, yeah. So anyway, this pattern only has four colors, but two of the browns when I copied them look very similar and so I have to um, really uh, double check um, on those when I'm stitching them just to make sure I'm doing the right brown. So, um, and actually the other brown is actually a gray but it, it looks like a brown when I copied it. My thread is getting twisted and tangled here. Um, so that is, that is the news from, um, from our house, our flat. Um, I've been binging a lot of TV as normal. Uh, I'm excited once I get, uh, this stitch with me done and processed and started uploading, get to watch the new episode of Outlander. And I've heard that it was very emotional, so we shall see. Uh, there's been a lot of very emotional episodes this this season, so I am looking forward to watching that um, when I get done with the stitch with me. So um, what I thought we would do today is what I've done my first couple of stitch with me's. I have this um, book. It's actually 300 writing prompts, but um, when I did my first stitch with me, I was like, oh, this is a good idea. Let's let's do some of these um, just verbally. And so I did a hashtag, 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 um, CC stitch with me prompts is the hashtag. And anybody who wants to talk about any or all of the ones that I've done, you're more than welcome to do that. So I looked um, at just... Um, two or three um, and thought that would be um, a good amount to do um, right for this uh, stitch with me. Um, so the first one I'm going to do is what is the first thing you do when you wake up every morning and why? The first thing that I do, um, so with my fibromyalgia, it, it takes me a little bit to um, be able to actually get out of bed. My body has to really wake up and I have to, um, you know, stretch some and everything. So I know it's probably an awful habit, but my, uh, what I do when I first wake up in the morning is get on my phone. I, um, usually will check. I have a, so I wear a, um, Fitbit Ionic. So look at that. I've got baby Yoda a Fitbit Ionic watch that tracks my sleep. Um, and so I usually look at that first thing to see, um, see how I slept the night before. Um, and then I usually check my email, which I shouldn't do, but I do anyway. Um, and then I, I don't respond to anything. I just leave whatever I need to actually deal with in my inbox to deal with later. Um, and I will usually look at my, um, Feedly, which is a um, blog uh, feed reader, and I don't follow a whole lot of blogs anymore like I used to uh, in days gone by, but um, there's a few blogs that I do follow, so I usually look at that, and I usually, um, well, I've been checking to see, and I don't know that it'll get updated probably for a little while, um, that, um, so Hades Town is a Broadway musical that I am just in love with. Dammy got to see it on Broadway, um, last summer, but they've announced that they're doing a, uh, tour, and, uh, thus far they have not announced any Pacific Northwest, uh, dates, but they're announcing them 
randomly. So I check and see if there's been an announcement for that yet. Um, I then also, what else do I do? Well, with the pandemic going on, I um, the Seattle Times has a um, one, two, three has a each day they create a um, news article that they update throughout the day um, about what's going on, um, mostly locally with uh, COVID. And so I typically look at that. I look at that. I try not to look at that more than maybe two or three times a day, uh, just to know what's going on. I don't, I'm not a person that follows the news, uh, really. We don't watch the news. Um, but just in the midst of all this and with things changing and, and all that, uh, I kind of like to know what's going on. So I usually look at that. And then I usually look at Instagram and, um, watch stories and, and scroll through what pictures have been posted overnight because I do follow people uh, on the other side of the world, uh, which is something that I'm going to talk about in a few minutes. Another uh, question that I'm going to answer. Um, yeah, and so it will be usually by that point, I am ready to get up out of bed. So I take my thyroid medicine because I have to do that before I eat. And then I get up and uh, start. Uh, Start getting, get uh, moving around, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, start moving around and getting things, um, getting my day started. So that is what I do first thing in the morning. So, craziness. Um, okay, the next question I'm going to answer is, have you ever lived in another country besides your country of birth? Would you want to? Yes, I have lived in another country. So, from... 2013 to 2017, uh, the Dr. Hubs and Dammy and I actually lived in Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, and if you've been a follower of the podcast for any length of time, you've heard us mention it. Um, but uh, we moved there and the Dr. Hubs did his PhD in theology at the University of Edinburgh. And we loved it there. I would move back right this very second if I could. Um, it was it was such a lovely um, a lovely place to live. Uh, the knitting community was amazing, which I know this is a stitch with me, but this is Geeky Girls Knit and Cross Stitch, so <laughs> you get knitting and cross stitch content. Uh, the knitting community there was amazing. I um, published. Uh, two books of knitting patterns while we were there, as well as lots of individual patterns. Um, did some yarn shows, hosted some knitting retreats. It was it was just an amazing uh, place to live. We didn't do as much traveling as I would have liked, but um, when we moved there, I was in a wheelchair, and so um, it was it was definitely an adjustment uh, to be living in another country and be in a wheelchair. <laughs> um, three, four, five, six. Um, I mean, it's enough of a challenge just to be in a wheelchair and then to move to a country that is not one that you have even ever visited before. That was definitely an adjustment. Um, so we did travel some, uh, some, we did several things just, you know, in and around Scotland, uh, Edinburgh. And, uh, but, and we went to London several times and we, where else did we go? We went to Brighton, we did Stonehenge, we went to Cardiff, uh, we did, went to Birmingham, I went to York. Um, so there's, there's lots of things that we did there, but there's a lot that we did not get to do that I would have loved to do. Sorry about that. Somebody decided to do something with power tools outside. Lovely. Um, so I had to try to close some doors and windows. Um, like I said, we'd go back in a heartbeat. Uh, where else I would love to live if, uh, if given the chance? Canada. I would uh, move to Canada uh, in a heartbeat. Um, where else? Uh, New Zealand might be um, interesting. Um, 
I would love to visit a lot of places. There's some places I would love to visit but not live. But, um, yeah, probably either moving back to the UK uh, or moving to Canada would be where I would um, where I would go if given the opportunity. Okay, now I have to look at this pattern again because, like I said, some of it is hard to read uh, in the copy. Okay. Um, so yeah, so there is that. Um, I actually trying to see because this has not taken me as long as I thought it would. Um, I had one more question that I got picked, but I'm trying to see if there's another question I can throw in there. Um, okay, how about um, what are three realistic goals you would like to achieve in your lifetime? Um, well, there's actually a couple that I've already achieved. One was to live uh, in another country, uh, which like I just talked about, we, we did and loved and thrived there. Another one it was to publish a book, and uh, even though it's not a traditional novel like I thought it would be, uh, it's books of knitting patterns. I still did that. I accomplished that. I actually published three physical books um, of knitting patterns, um, and um, they are Coffee with Cece. Um, there, and then, so that's seven knitting patterns, all inspired by coffee, six pairs of socks, and a shawl. And then there is Coffee with Cece and Dammy 2, which is a book that Dammy started designing in. And again, all the, um, I should not have started this next section because I don't have enough floss. I need to uh, put a new thing of floss on which I didn't get one ready because I was like, oh, I won't get all of that stitched while I'm talking. And then I did. Uh, Coffee with Cece and Dammy 2 is another um, book of knitting patterns inspired by coffee. And Dammy actually designed two of the patterns in that book. And then the, um, the last one is Tickled Pink which is a book of eight knitting patterns. And what we did was we asked um, four indie yarn dyers to each dye um, a pink uh, color weight of yarn. And then Dami and I each designed a pattern using that yarn. Um, there's a sock pattern for each of the four colorways, um, a couple designed by me and a couple designed by Dami. And then there's also a hat, a shawl, a wrap, uh, and a cowl. I think that's right. Um, so that was fun to, to show different ways you can use the same colorway of yarn in different patterns. Um, and then the, so that's that. So that's, that's a second, uh, goal that I wanted. I originally had this, uh, this dream of, um, of actually writing a fiction book. I tried. It didn't go so well. <laughs> I had on my computer for a long time, like about five or six chapters of a book and it was not a very good book. It was not, <laughs> that, that isn't, that's not my forte. So being able to design, um, a, uh, books of knitting patterns, um, fulfilled that goal. What is a third goal? Hmm. See, I didn't prep myself for this when I didn't think about what my answer to this question would be. 
I guess, well, I guess it's already been achieved. Um, I, I mean, as long, I think I talked about this in my last stitch with me, um, from, from a very young age, my dream was to become a mom. And, um, obviously I am. Damn, you'll be 21 this year. Um, it didn't always go like I thought it would go. I wanted a large family. Um, I wanted to have like four kids and, um, we had infertility and secondary infertility problems as well as we lost three babies to miscarriage. So, um, technically I guess we do have four kids, just three not with us. And, um, Yeah, but I became a mom, um, and, you know, Dammy is such an amazing, amazing young woman. She has um, already done some really amazing things with her life, and um, I know there will be so many more amazing things. Two, 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 one, two, two, okay, F four. Um... You know, I can't wait to see what else she accomplishes with her life, you know, to, uh, you know, she finished high school. She did all of high school while we were in Scotland. Um, she was homeschooled almost all of her life. And, um, and then she, once we moved back to the States, she took a gap year. She got a job. Um, she, um is in college now and is thriving, um, is doing amazing things. Do, her academics are very, very well. Uh, she's, she's such a smart young lady. And, um, you know, getting cast in the lead role of a play her second year of school. And um, she's just, she's amazing. And I'm just so proud of her and what she's done and what she continues to do. And, it's just an honor to be her mama. And even though our relationship is much different now, um, it's much more of a friendship relationship. Um, I love that too. Um, I love being able to interact with her as an adult. And although I'm so sad that she can't be at school right now, um, I'm really grateful for this unexpected time that we're getting with her um, uh, during this pandemic. And... Um, yeah, it's, it's lovely to be able to have that extra bit of time with her, um, that, that we, you know, nobody could have foreseen that we would have gotten, so. Okay, final question that I wanted to answer, where is it at? Okay, this one may be a little too deep, but we're going to go with it. What do you need right now? Um, I think this is something that probably quite a few of us have have thought about and pondered during this uh, pandemic um, when our, all of our lives have just gotten kind of thrown um, into a much different direction than any of us could have imagined. Um, and I think that I'm looking for the little pattern book here because these colors are throwing me here. Okay, maybe I'll just leave this open so I can kind of reference it too. Um, okay. Um, well, it would be helpful if I turned the fabric the correct direction before I tried to stitch on it, huh? Um, nobody said that I was um, great at this. I do my best. Um, you know, I think I'm receiving a lot of what I need right now. I mean, I have, I have a roof over my head. Our bills are paid, are being paid. You know, we're making enough money to pay our bills. Um, you know, we have a place to sleep. I have uh, a healthcare team that is working with me to make, you know, make sure that I didn't have to come into their office as I've dealt with, uh, continue to deal with my, um, fibromyalgia and, um, 
and just the the needed care for that. I got a ear infection during this pandemic, and they worked with me and and made sure I was able to get the care I needed. Um, we've got food, you know. We we um, we live across the street from our grocery store, um, and we're able to do grocery pickup and for things that we aren't necessarily able to to do the pickup for Rotterdam, you're able to go inside and, and get what we need quickly. Um, we've got technology to be able to stay in touch with friends and family. Um, Zoom has been a great way to um, connect with um, my stitching group and my knitting group and my mom's group that I am part of. One, two, three, four, five. Um, So that is, that is awesome. Um, and then there's two angled off. Okay. Um, there, you know, technology is, gives me the ability to, you know, like digitally check out books from the library. I have plenty of reading material. I have so many craft supplies, so I'm able to keep my hands busy. Uh, with that, um, you know, I'm able to watch binge TV, lots and lots of TV, um, and watch movies, and um, I've got Russ and Dammy uh, here, my my love, lovely family, and, um, you know, it's, it's rare it, it, that we're, you know, that we are getting this experience of being able to all be together, um, for a longer period of time like this. Um, we had that while we were in Scotland, uh, for a while. And, um, and then, you know, I, I didn't think that we would ever have that experience again where we were all together, uh, so much of the time like this. Um, Pink Pearl, you know, even in her persnickety-ness, uh, is a lovely, lovely cat, and she provides um, that other, that other kind of love, you know, that she can get um, loving an animal. Um, and, um, yeah, um, now, not to say that any that this has been has been easy. It it has been difficult. You know, there's there's lots of emotions. I I am a homebody. We're we all three of us. We are really really homebodies, and um, like to be at home. Uh, but I I so miss being able to be out of the house to um, to be you know with with friends and to be able to walk into a store and shop for what I need or want. Um, just because of my health, I haven't left the house in quite a while. Um, I don't want to chance, chance that. So um, that, that, that physical presence with people that are not my family, um, but uh, I, I miss... I miss that and I, I need that back in my life. When that will happen, I don't know. Um, but I know it will happen again someday. Um, but, you know, this is this is definitely a hard time and um, I'm so grateful that I started journaling again in the midst of, of all this because it's been, that's been something that that I sorely needed um, and have been able to write out some of the emotions I'm feeling and some of the the things that are are going on um, in the midst of all this. So honestly, I I do have I do have most of what I need. Um, are there things that I want that I don't have? Yes, but. Um, you know, just like everybody else, we're taking this day by day and doing the best we can with what we've got. And, um, but I am looking forward to the day when 
when life goes back to a little bit more normal. So, um, sorry, I kind of got a little emotional there with that. Um, I thought I might, but, um, yeah. So if you would like to answer any of these questions, you can use again, the hashtag, hashtag, uh, CC stitch with me prompts, um, and answer some of these questions. Um, and again, thank you for being with me today as I've stitched, uh, I got about half of the outline of the kitty done, so that's pretty awesome. This I actually may save this to uh, work on during Stitch With Me's because it's a one that, especially once I get the outlining done, uh, it's pretty easy to do versus having to read a more detailed pattern <laughs> while I'm trying to stitch. So thank you all so much for joining me. I've enjoyed doing this again, and I look forward to uh, doing it again next week. Um, Stay tuned for Friday for our regular uh, podcast episode. And um, until then, I hope you have a great week ahead. And um, reach out to somebody and check on them and um, just let them know how important they are in your life, especially in the midst of this when we may not be able to physically see each other in person. So. Happy crafting, and we'll talk to you again at the end of the week.